This is about the Limavady workhouse and some workhouses in general. You probably have never thought what it was like for a mother to look at her children and see their eyes sunk in their head and their bones coming out through their clothes and their little stomachs swollen with hunger. And it was only something as bad as that that would drive a mother and father to even think about entering the workhouse. Because once you went in there, there was a good chance that you would never come out of it again, that you would die. I mean, in the Limavady workhouse, 10 people a day died and were buried in the pauper's graveyard. But workhouses all over were uh, built maybe to house about 600 people. That's what the Limavady workhouse was supposed to house, was built in 1842. But within a couple of years, the famine came along and 900 and 50 odd inmates were housed in that one workhouse. You can just imagine what the uh, whole experience would have been for them. I mean, they went into the gatehouse and that's where it was decided. Men went in one way, women another way, and children another way. Families were not kept together. If they were very lucky, later on in the years, they might have allowed them to meet together for an hour on a Sunday. But at the beginning, they were just separated. And it's no wonder that with over 10,000 people going through the workhouse, that there would be some spirits left. Now, as time went on in the workhouse, they managed to set aside a smallish room as an infirmary, and they really had to be ill to go in there. But they employed a matron, and she thought this is a good opportunity to maybe train up some of the younger women as nurses, and she did that. It was a very strict moral code there, though. And one of the young nurses became pregnant. Now, that was probably the worst thing that could happen. And she delivered the baby herself in the room. The baby was born premature. And she was trying to hide it, and she fed the baby as best she could, but the baby wasn't suckling at all. And one night she fell asleep, and she doesn't know whether, nobody knows whether she rolled over on top of the baby, or whether she smothered the baby, but the baby was dead. And one of the other young girls who was training as a nurse, she was very compassionate. And that night, they wrapped the baby up in one of the blankets, and they slipped out, and they buried that baby in the pauper's graveyard. Now that girl was so remorseful and distraught that within a couple of days she was found hanged in her cell. And her ghost is supposed to wander the corridors of the workhouse. And there was another story too. This was whenever it was turned into a hospital in 1932. There was a woman, a patient, and she was lying in bed one night and she heard the coming along the corridor and it got louder and louder and she didn't know what it was so she's, she kept her head turned the other way and then she thought oh maybe it's just the nurse coming along to take my temperature or to take my blood pressure or something but the tap tap came to her bed beside it and she just had this cold cold feeling and she pulled the blanket up over her but still cold, and then she felt something on her shoulder, a cold hand that seemed to go up around her head, and the blast of cold air as that hand moved, and she quickly turned around to catch who it was, but there was nobody and nothing there. The day nurse, the next day, she told her, and she said, I'm gonna get you moved out of this room you're not the first person that that has happened to. So there was a ghost of some sort along that corridor. So it's an eerie place to be. It has a history that's quite horrendous. 
and we can just be very, very glad today that the workhouses are no more.